Hello and welcome to my Grease Gun Guide video. We will be looking at hitting targets from 25 meters up to 100 meters, both stationary and moving, how many shots it takes to kill at these ranges, recoil control and some bullet penetration stats. If you like the sound of that, then give this video a like and subscribe for more. I have plenty of other guides looking at the other weapons in the game and more. So let's get to it. So first up we have 25 meters and it takes two shots to kill to the chest. And it also takes two shots to kill when hitting the hands. For a headshot, just get your target's head at the tip of the sight. And for a running target, you can just get your sight directly on your target. For a sprinting target, get your sight towards the front of your target. If you get it directly in the middle of your target, you'll probably miss. And at 50 meters, it's two shots to kill to the chest. And it's also two shots to kill to the hands. For a headshot, get the tip of your sight right to the tip of your target's head. For a running target, you can just aim directly on your target, or you try to aim more towards the front of him though. For a sprinting target, you need to aim about an extra person ahead. Now for 75 meters, and it stays at two shots to kill to the chest. And while difficult to hit the hands at this range, it's still two shots to kill. For a headshot, just use the same as 50 meters, get the tip of your sight to the tip of the target's head. For a running target, you now need to aim slightly ahead of your target, maybe about half a person ahead. And for a sprinting target, pretty much the same as 50 meters. Now onto 100 meters, and it's three shots to kill to the chest. And with a hand shot, while really difficult to hit at 100 meters, it's still only three shots to kill. For a headshot, aim about an extra head's height above your target. For running targets at 100 meters, it's pretty much the same as 75. Just aim, you know, about an extra person ahead of your target. For sprinting targets at 100 meters, aim another person ahead of your target. Pretty much the same as 75 and 50. Now for some recoil. So what I'm doing here is just aiming at this little house 25 meters away, just to see how bad or good the recoil is. And it's got pretty hefty recoil, you know, it just goes straight up and veers slightly off to the right. So when crouching and shooting this weapon, it doesn't seem to affect the recoil that much. I'm wondering if there's a bug with this weapon at the minute where crouching doesn't affect it. But to control the recoil, it is just going to be a simple bounce down movement and slightly, very slightly to the left to try and keep your shots grouped together. So let's look at some bullet penetration. So we're doing a wood test here, and this is at 25 meters, and instead of two shots to kill, it's now three shots. When progressing to 50 meters, it stays at three shots to kill. And at 75 meters, again, it stays at three shots to kill. But at 100 meters, it blocks all bullets from hitting your target. So just remember that 100 meters, your weapon can't shoot through wood. The grease gun also cannot shoot through sandbags at all.
It also cannot shoot through stone. And trees? Nope, it can't shoot through trees. It can shoot through glass and fabric completely fine. That doesn't seem to affect the damage of the weapon at all. Just remember that shooting through wood, it takes an extra bullet to kill. But at 100 meters, the gun just doesn't work at all against wood. So there we have it. There's my guide on the grease gun. I think uh, it's a pretty damn good SMG. I didn't expect this from when the weapon was released. I thought it'd be pretty bad, but I actually really enjoy using this weapon and I try to use it pretty much whenever I can, unless using a Garand for the ranges are gonna be you know, a lot more beneficial. It's interesting to note that shooting through wood only takes an extra shot to kill targets, but you need to remember that at 100 meters, you know, your gun just is completely in ineffectual. I will be looking into bullet penetration stats a lot more for every weapon in the game. You know, I'll be doing videos based on weapon categories like rifles or SMGs or you know, machine guns, etc. So if, if that interests you, I'll be looking at you know all the ranges to see how bullet penetration actually works and how to get the most out of it. So it seems like hiding behind wood now in this game is just pretty much a no-go. Just don't bother hiding behind wood. If an SMG can easily take you out with three shots at you know effective ranges for an SMG, I'd say you know under 100 meters, then like a Garand, a Car 98, an STG, a machine gun, it's just going to completely turn you into mincemeat. So I'd recommend not hiding behind wood anymore. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.